guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hiba and this is my first time doing a speed paint video in like three years or something. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a while and this is also my first time doing a voiceover so I might be a little bit nervous and a little tense but I'm gonna try my best and I hope you like it. Alright, so let's talk about <laughs> what the hell is happening in this video. It's actually quite a long story, but long story short, recording this, I actually experienced a bunch of technical difficulties. Shit was super laggy and it was really hard to paint. I was using Photoshop and that and the recording software running at the same time was apparently too much for my laptop. It made Photoshop lag so much. And apart from that, like two hours into the artwork, I looked at it. And I was like, this just doesn't look right. Like the artwork was kind of, uh, like, what's a good way to describe it? It was, it was just ugly. <laughs> and at some point, I was so frustrated with it. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to do videos anymore. I don't want to do life anymore. And I sat there for a few minutes just wallowing in self-pity because like, I lost so many brain cells trying to make this work and then <laughs> my last two remaining brain cells were like you know what maybe we should try again like maybe completely start over and that's when I just scrapped everything and started over from scratch and this is how this painting happened so I guess moral of the story if something just keeps not looking right consider starting over something a lot better might come out of it. Like, sometimes I'd spend so much time trying to fix an artwork and, and patch it up and, and use liquify and whatnot, and it would still look off, and I'd feel so stuck. And especially when you have no idea why the artwork looks so off, it's just best to scrap it and start over with a clear head. Usually it's because you didn't warm up or, or you just, you know, straight up jumped into into a huge full-blown artwork and a lot of artists starting out don't know this but before you start a serious artwork you you need to warm up it's like it's like working out you know you need to warm up your muscles and as an artist what you can do is is doodle around a little bit do some quick life drawing sash to do some sketches in your sketchbook you know just whatever works for you to get you into that flow state I'm sure if you're an artist, you know this kind of feeling when you just started a drawing and, and your wrist feels kind of stiff and you can't get the proportions right and you're kind of struggling a little. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's this really uncomfortable feeling in the beginning and warming up a little will, will really help you get rid of that. But I mean, just like many others, <laughs> I get lazy sometimes and I just jump straight into full-blown artwork without warming up and what happens here is if you're a little rusty or, or you have that stiffness in your wrist um, your base the the base of the artwork is gonna be a little like it could have a lot of mistakes it could look very stiff and, and not flowy and what happens is that you continue building up on top of that really bad base and that's why you end up spending so much time trying to fix all the mistakes that are rooted in the base of the drawing. And you kind of just don't get anywhere with it. Because sometimes you can't even tell anymore what kind of mistakes are hiding under all of that painting, coloring, and rendering you did over your base. And that's why I recommend starting over. Because you've already warmed up with that first attempt. And the second time around, you're more likely to start off with a good, stable, correct base sketch. Which is why you're also more likely to end up with a better artwork. I used to think that starting over is such a waste of time and that I'd rather spend time fixing the artwork until it looks good. But that was actually like a really wrong way to think about it. Something that I've learned throughout the years of being an artist is that sometimes moving on from an artwork and starting over from scratch can be the best thing you can do. And actually, some of my best artworks started out like that. I used to think that if I started an artwork, I'd have to finish it. And if I don't finish it, then I'm like a bad artist or something. But honestly, if an artwork just does not want to look good and just does not want to cooperate, 
then F it. Start something new. Alright, so back to the artwork in this video. Um, so first off, you're gonna see me struggling a lot here and there, changing a lot of things throughout the artwork. I just, I never really have a vision of what it's gonna look like in the end. Some artists know exactly what they're going for, but I'm here like, oh, let's make a stroke here and, and one there and let's change the eye shape completely and let's shave her head and eyebrows and then grow them back. And it's just, it's just completely random. And I think, I think you'll see that in the video. I basically have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> especially since there's no reference I'm following, so it's it's literally just a huge bunch of random brush strokes. That is, that is, yeah, that is exactly what my process is. And I mean, that's okay. It's all right. I used to think that in order to be a good artist, you have to know exactly what you're doing and what the outcome of the artwork is going to be like. And that, it made me kind of insecure about my art because, as I said, my, my approach to it is very, it's very chaotic and, and random. It's like, instead of following a careful plan, I'm, I'm just exploring and discovering the artwork as I'm creating it. That goes to say, if you're more comfortable with that kind of approach, that doesn't make you any worse as an artist. It's just one of the many different ways to create art. It doesn't have to be carefully planned. I don't know if it's just something that I dealt with or if other people relate to this, but just in case any of you have similar insecurities, I thought I'd mention it, that, that it's totally normal. You do you. Speaking of insecurities, watching my video process is it's actually quite painful. <laughs> Especially, um, I noticed that I, I jump around so much, like at one point I'd be doing the lips and then suddenly I just start working on the hair and then midway I'm just like, oh, let's do the ear now. And I think it's just also part of me being so random in my process and also possibly having a really short attention span. <laughs> and like, if I'm completely honest with you guys, I'm very unhappy with how this artwork turned out. I think towards the middle of it, I was I was pretty happy with it, but then it just kind of went downhill for me. It's probably because I kind of rushed it. And the reason I'm telling you this is that, so you know that I struggle with my art as well, and, and it's totally fine. I remember back then when I was just starting out with art, I used to be so confused when an artist that I look up to and that I think very highly of would criticize their art and, and say bad things about it. I used to think like, okay, so if this amazing artist thinks that their art is bad, then doesn't that mean that my art is beyond terrible? And it used to make me feel really insecure, like, wow, I must really suck. And I know that there are a lot of people who follow me who are still beginners and, and they, they themselves are always so confused when I say stuff like, oh, my art is so bad and, and stuff like that. But the thing is... No matter how good you get at art, you will always want to be better. You will always want more. And that's why the artists we look up to might criticize themselves so much. It's normal to want to be better. So no, it, it doesn't mean that your art sucks just because your favorite artist said that their art was bad. It just it means that they're at a different point in their art journey. And it's, it's just not fair to compare your beginning of the journey to their middle of it. And I think realizing that, that your art journey consists of stages like when you first start out, you're still a beginner, your art is not as good, and then you'll get to the next stage where your art is a little bit better. And you're just going to notice that those stages where your art is not good yet, they're, they're really important. They're necessary because without them, you can't get to what's after. It's like if you're playing a game, for example, and you have to go through level 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. to get to level 5. It would be kind of weird if you're like at level 1 and you get angry at yourself that you didn't ascend to level 5 right away. In other words, you have to suck at first in order to become good later. And when you compare your art to your idol's artworks, you shouldn't think of it in a way that, oh, my art sucks and their art is amazing. You should rather view it like, 
I'm at stage one with my art and I'm doing well as a beginner right now. And my art idol is like at stage five, which is like a place that I will get to somewhere in the future. The thing is, you have to stop attaching your self-worth to what stage you're at with your art right now. And also remember that your favorite artists also had to go through that awkward beginner stage, just like you are right now, if you are a beginner, of course. But instead of giving up and saying, nah, man, I can't do this, and this is too hard, and stuff like that, remember that they chose to stay persistent and keep going in order to get to where they are, they're at right now. And you can do the same. You're perfectly capable of doing the same. All right, um, <laughs> I think this video is already really long, so I'm just gonna end it here. And um, just a note for future videos. I don't really know where I'm gonna go with this, but I really wanna like talk more about my experience with art and like more give more advice like this, but also do more specific things like more targeted tutorials and stuff like that because <laughs> you guys really want them and yeah i'm gonna try ramble less <laughs> all right um i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a wonderful day or night and i hope i'll see you next time bye bye